change your heart, change your life, change the planet. Hey everybody, sorry for the bathroom shot, but I wanted to give you an update while these thoughts are in my head, okay? People have been asking me how I'm doing with the Lyme, the antibiotics, my teeth, everything else. So I'll address that now. The Lyme seems to be in check. The rash has gone away, the achiness has gone away. I'm feeling pretty good. No adverse effects from the antibiotics. I'm psyched about that. I've got, I think, three weeks, no, two weeks left of the antibiotics. But so far, so good. Uh, as far as my teeth go, this is still the flipper. I've just gotten really good at talking with it. Uh, I have the abutments placed into my jawbone now. So the implants go in first. They wait for the bone to heal. They cut holes in your gum because your gum heals over it. Then they install the abutments, which they have. Now they're shaping my gums with this guy and I get a temporary bridge in mid-July, I think. Then that continues to shape my gums for another couple months. And probably in October, November, I will get the permanent bridge, but it takes about a year. So it's been quite a process, but I don't even care anymore. I'm so used to wearing this thing and don't even notice it. And I've gotten used to eating with it, even salad, leaves and carrots used to get underneath, but I deal with it now. And uh, I'll show you what the abutments look like. Hmm, <laughs> you haven't seen me without teeth in a while. <laughs> See the metal in there? Isn't that sexy? So, that's what it looks like. And there we go, fake smile. The reason I'm in the shower making this video, or the bathroom, sorry, is when I was drying myself off, I found five baby ticks embedded in my feet. So this is another public service announcement. If you were spending any time outside I walked up onto the hill to work on some trails. So I was walking through the grass probably for 400 meters. Then I was working in the woods on some trails. And then uh, I walked out into the grass again to take a picture of the sunset and the pasture. And that was it. I was outside for maybe an hour and a half total. And I've got five ticks embedded in my feet. So you've got to be so diligent if you live in the Northeast and you're outside a lot. All right, so check these guys out on my feet. Scary. The average person looking at my foot probably wouldn't even see them because they're so small you wouldn't even know what to look for. But here's one right here. See that guy? You can see a little red around it. And it flaps back and forth. That's how you know it's a tick. And here's another one here. Where is it in the camera? Right there. There we go. So a little red mark and a little flappy back and forth. So you look for little black marks with red around them. And that's how you know it's a tick, as uh, opposed to a mole, because these are smaller than the moles that I have. And then on the other foot, um, I have two guys right here next to each other. One there, one there. Then there's one right here. Crazy stuff. These guys are tiny. And here's two red dots where I took two off uh, yesterday. So look for the little red marks and a little black eye inside of it. And those are ticks. Scary stuff. These ticks are so small that you can't get them out with a tweezer or the tick twister that I showed in my other video. Um, they're just way too small for that. So what I do is put some soap on some paper towel and you rub in a circle with a lot of pressure going in the same direction and I'll do like 20 rubs. This is the only way I know how of getting them out um, when they're this small. And there you see it, see that little dot? And there's the tick. So now I gotta get more soap and another paper and get the rest out. Exercise is not easy for most people. Now, I'm a runner. I love to run. But I've been doing it for years. When I started, it was not easy. It was hard. And I'm talking about this morning. 